All right, let's watch this. This is a longer sequence with no sound. Huh? <gasps> ah! Ah, bam! <laughs> that was my cartoon sound. It's cute. There's just some really good stuff there. I've seen this before. The Academy. There's definitely an update on the on the bird. Let's see here. I wonder, the only thing that strikes me here, I'm going to go in there frame by frame, but... I think what I would do, this might be weird, but just as a thought, like when I was watching this, and obviously I know what is going on, like this is all still good, you got a bit of tail acting, the only thing maybe that I would do here is maybe you can take this and have it go down this way. Oh, it's a bigger change, but not having seen this for a while. What strikes me here is that this kind of, even though there's a bit of a drag in the tip there, it just has a feeling of this is the head, body, tail, and everything pivots off of here and moves as one piece. As the tail comes down, the body comes down. Maybe this could be something where this goes down straight, where it will go down and then the, the tip would drag, go down more, tip would be here and it's kind of like a, like a wave down and then this would be less of this over one frame but this massive shape pops in but it could be either body and then the head down here and it's kind of the back that leads so then this is here and the head might be you know it's a little bit lower then the body stops then the head snaps over or might have still one in between, like here, and then into that. It's the only thing that strikes me here is that it feels a bit too much of a solid piece that kind of goes up. I think there's some good moments in terms of oh, all the reactions, or even here when you have huh, a little reaction in there as that goes forward. I think the thing that we talked about before just kind of hurts, just kind of the, the modeling of it where it's just very pointy has a lot of shapes that where enveloping is not as clean as it could be but i don't know how much control you have over this because you do have all the all the drag and everything the only thing i would say is this feels a bit much when you go from here to here and then the next frame go forward but in the small spacing here especially this to this it gives it boom, like it hits that wall there so to me i would go here and then the next frame this headline is here, somewhere here, and you can still do that with the arm, but it does a little bit of continuing motion going back. Then you can maybe pop to here, and then into this, that might be a bit more fluid. But it's just tricky. I don't know if you can rotate the hand so that there's a bit more of a fluid line there. Even this, I don't know if you have bend bows, you know, like stuff like that, where we just kind of soften those lines a bit like this feels very messy where i would just bring that wrist down i mean i know you want to put in the drag but maybe something where it might just for the moment be okay but i'm just registering this and just a, such a weird shape maybe the drag would just be more it'd be flatter or it doesn't have no drag at all give it a nicer more appealing um silhouette like on something like this again i would just bring in those fingers like this and simplify that shape so it doesn't have that in there and that's kind of my comment for most of those elements here like even through here and i might just be reacting just to to all of this i think that's probably the biggest thing if you can go in there and i don't know if you have to go even like something like this still simplify the shapes to have this come down into just the plant and not have all of these out there even that just feels broken so i think because everything is there and it's cute and i like it it just feels it just feels messy in terms of those shapes 
And I know it is that's not your fault. It's just the, how the model is. But even on like a stop like that. Maybe give this a bit more room. Maybe here would actually be a good thing to bring out those fingers. Because now it's a plant. Bam. This one's tricky here. I think I would reduce the amount of craziness. Because to me, at this point, this just becomes stroby. And it could just be... Whoa, it could just be going up into a hold for a couple of frames. Like, take one of the, you know, leg, arm, forward moves. It's a bit more hold and then... It's almost like he wants to get up. Right? He does all this gets up and then feels like he's stuck in the air and that's when he starts treading here in the air to get into this to go forward just right now it feels like it's just so stroby you might want to run this with motion blur and then we'll have a different opinion on that maybe then that will be better i'm not sure what's going on here in the camera i feel like your camera is doing a translate right there. Might just be me, but this feels like a translate. It also kind of messes up the entrance of of the bird there. I would just go translate backwards for all of this. But any type of reframing is done with rotations. This just seems odd at this point. And I would probably still bring in that bird from top down. Little eagle, eagle attack. Instead of low, this feels less threatening. I'll go straight down into this. But it's cool. I really like the, the flutter and the adjustments in the wings. I would have a little bit of an adjustment in the head here that kind of not in sync with the legs. It might go earlier, maybe right a bit at the end. But <clears throat> given that it's cartoonia, we can push this and have a bit more of a head move outward. Eyes maybe end up up here and open the beak. Ah, just more. This kind of falls into the same line. And I maybe rotate the head a bit so that the head here has a beak here and then a beak here. So we see the separation between that top part and the lower part. And you might cheat and open those eyes a bit more because it's going past us so, so quickly. You can cheat that maybe a little bit. So the initial comment here before I was start at the beginning. I wonder if at this point we can take this hill away. <clears throat> keep those clouds up there. So this is basically just blue. Ground here. This green might end here. So that here... Because he gets into this hole, I would have jump, give it contrast, but also make it a moment so we understand. Bam, goes in there and hides. Right now, it just feels like it just kind of disappears. Because I'm also looking at the eagle coming in. And I feel like we want to have just a bigger moment. And if that means maybe you have to extend the shot a little bit, since he's just kind of coming in. There's not much going on there. I would have a little bit of a flutter in the in the wings here, just like you have here, which is cool. But you might have to open up the shot, make it a bit longer. Just give it this a, this a little jump, hang time. So it's almost like it's almost there, grabbing it. And I know that means that maybe the eagle will be higher because maybe not. I think it, it might just be do this, jump up, down. And just kind of re-time the eagle so that this still happens. That it's an almost grab. But this, this he should be grabbing it. So I would still back time that guy so that when the squirrel is here, I feel like this is the pose of the eagle when the squirrel is here. This feels like it would still grab the guy. So I would make, change it a little bit for another, for a bit more of a near miss. And then it feels like it slows down. So me personally, I will go here. And then on this, you could have a flap. But I will probably do less of a flap with his left wing. And have the bird look maybe back with, a, with big eyes. I might as well cartoonify this whole thing. And look back, bit sideways, slight, slight flap. And speed up. It's really... This feels a bit more like he's easing in. I do like this though here. 
and then that's cute comes out and that's that all right thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you